Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wanted to rebrand your device from one region to another due to, let's say, some features being released in one area and not in the other? Well, when it comes to Huawei and Honor devices, we do have a service called Funky Huawei that enables us to do that. So today we're going to use our Mate 9 and we're going to rebrand it from a US version to the European version. Now, obviously, you could do that from any version to another one. They do support different so uh, devices and I'll show you guys the process and what we need to do. We do need a PC, we do need to have a funky Huawei account, but let's not waste any time. I'm gonna be rebranding my device from a US version to a European version. Let's check it out. Switching over to the PC, we're gonna be switching our Mate 9, the US branded Mate 9, MHA L29 from the US model to the European model. Typically, you wanna switch over to another region to be able to get more features. So the US model has a built-in Alexa assistant that's going into the actual system. So if you wanna be able to get that, but you have a European model, well, this is the process for you. Although I'm doing it backwards, this is the exact same process you do to go from your variant to the US model. Uh, main page, you go directly into the option where it says rebrand and it'll take you directly to the rebrand instructions, instructing you to download the rebrand flash tool uh, and you'll basically download it, unzip it and put it in a folder ready to go. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure is obviously understand what model number and hardware number that you have and see if it is or if it is not supported. You can scroll through the process. Uh, there is a recommendation at the bottom of the page though, if you are going to be using this to rebrand the Honor V10 variant, there is a separate page for instructions, but should not be too different from what we have. Uh, so again, we have the tool, we downloaded it. Uh, what we need to make sure now is to go through the process and find out what firmware we're going to be using when we transfer over. And for me, because I'm going from an Oreo build on the Mate uh, 9 to an Oreo build uh, in the European model, I need to make sure to match that. So what I did here is I went into the MHA L29 and because this is a European model, the seems like the MHA 8.0 365C432 will be the match one for my device. Oreo to Oreo, uh, if you're gonna go uh, basically uh, pre-Oreo, just do that same thing. Make sure you're matching from and to, and then you can do the upgrade. Here is my Mate 9. Uh, in the other video that I've done for you guys, we should walk through the process on how to do the forced upgrade. Uh, you can follow that instruction video and I'll give you guys a link in the description below for that to be able to get you to upgrade to the 8.0. Now this is the latest version. This is the US variant as you can see. Uh, the Huawei assistant here, uh, the Huawei Amazon assistant is actually sitting right there. Now you want to be able to basically flash from European to uh, US but since I'm in the US I'm just going to walk you through the process on how to rebrand this and I'm going to rebrand it to a European model and then you can use the exact same process to brand yours over to another region. Just again understand if you have any questions please email the guys over at Funky Huawei before going through any processes as you want to make sure that you're going from the right version to the right version making sure that 8.0 to 8.0 and then you have the right build and if they don't have it they can walk you through what you need to do. So for what we need at this, at this point on the device, the device is pretty much ready. I'm going to hold the power button and I'm going to shut it down. We need to get into fast boot mode. So the main thing we want to do is wait for it to shut down completely. Then we're going to connect the USB cable to the device. You'll notice right there, power came on. We're going to need to give it a second for it to just kind of go away. Once that process is done, we're going to hold volume down and power it on. Now that we have the device in fast boot mode, you'll notice right there, my phone is still locked. FRP is locked. I am not, a, I'm not running an unlocked device. So this is all done without unlocking your bootloader. Unfortunately, when you're switching or rebranding your device, it's not the same as upgrading your device. So you are going to lose your data on this device. So back up everything and anything you need to back up off of it before we go through this process. Upgrading an operating system uh, usually does not delete any data, but flashing or going from one firmware to the other will require us to go through one step of factory reset on our device. Back on our PC, we need to open up the actual tool itself. Double click on the uh, application right there. It's going to open up a terminal window similar to this and go ahead and select your device. I I have the MHA L29, so that would be three. I'm gonna hit three, enter. Next page tells us specifically the branding that you're going to, not where you're coming from. So I'm not gonna select the US model here. I'm gonna be selecting the European model. European model is what I wanna to go to, and it tells you right there, the HWEU is 432. This will match the variant that I'm gonna be flashing on this. This is the firmware I'm gonna be using. And again, I kept it at 8.0. Since I'm running 8.0 on my Mate 9 right now, I'm going to 8.0 in the European model. So at this point, what I would need to say is I want to go to European. It's going to be number two. And last but not least, we get the last warning explaining to us that we're going through this process. It's going to take five credits out of our total credit bucket that we have. Make sure you're logged into the site, of course. And uh, that it's going to take two more credits to flash that firmware that I was just showing you guys that we will use to make sure that the device runs perfectly on the EU model. Uh, last but not least, you just need to type in the word OK and hit Enter. 
And at this point, we're going to need to let the tool go. You're logged in. It verified how many credits I have, and you may proceed. So now it's saying check into the phone is in the in fast boot mode. Phone, uh, phone connected. Fast boot mode will continue. And then please wait and give it some time. Uh, if there's any issues, please contact funkywawi.com. So at this point, we're just going to let things go, and we'll come back as soon as the device is done rebranding into the European model process took maybe about three minutes roughly uh, it's pretty much done it gave us a confirmation on the screen and then now the device went through a factory reset and it just gives us the option to shut down so the next step now we need to is switch over to just normally flashing a new firmware on our device and again we're going to be flashing this new firmware so we'll go ahead and switch over to that setup now that we have the device booted up uh, we just need to go into the settings and we'll go into system we'll go about phone Again, we're still running uh, the EMUI 8.0, so we're gonna go into the build number, keep pressing it. You are a developer, we'll go back, developer options. We're gonna turn on USB debugging, Let's click OK. Allow that on the device, and we're gonna switch over to the PC. But before we go too far, if you have the option in your device for high suite, we're gonna go here. Switch over, allow high speed over USB, uh, high speed over USB, and that usually also turns on uh, the option to be able to fit the device to be recognized by the uh, high speed application. So we're going to click OK, and we're pretty much set. So from the device point of view, we're pretty much ready. So once we rebooted our device, again turn on USB debugging and allow the device. So what's happening here is high speed now is going to be installing the high speed application on our device. And once connected, you'll notice the device is recognized correctly. MHA L29 and we're ready to go from this point. Now, I already selected the firmware that I wanted to flash, and I'm ready to go here. You'll notice there's the update button. We're gonna click that. We'll give it a few seconds. Uh, before we go too far from this process, I wanna walk you through the just a little bit on how to set up this version of High Suite. This version of High Suite is not the standard one to download from the site, so you follow the link here within the instructions. It takes you into the High Suite. Because we are using Android 8.0, we do need to be using the High Suite method. So download the funky Huawei uh, from the, from their site. They can take you directly to this Reddit post. Download the version that they have, which is this version of High Suite. Uninstall any other versions that you may have. And then using the instructions under edit your host file, let's go ahead and open that in a new tab. You'll be able to edit your host file on your PC for it to route directly to the right server. And we need to basically change the domain information. So this is the instruction here. They give you instruction for Windows, for Linux, for Mac. Just follow the instructions and change the file and then add this line into it, which is the server, the main server for the Funky Huawei uh, repositories. Once you have that done, go back to their site as we did before, select the current firmware that you want. Make sure only one page has a firmware on it, not too many. And then you're pretty much set. The device will be recognized. You'll notice right there, new version Funky Huawei is available. I'm gonna say update, and I'm gonna let it go through this process. Now, at this point, uh, the device is gonna basically go through uh, downloading and installing the latest version of firmware that I selected, which is, I think in this situation called, yeah, here it is, the 8.0365 parentheses 432, C432. And we saw that in the rebranding tool. We knew that C432 is what I need to download for now. I'm no longer branded into the US um, uh, version of this device. And once this is done, we'll go through and we'll do it one more time. And once that's done, we're pretty much set. Our device should be ready to use, no issues on Android 8.0 with the European model. Pretty much done. Uh, I You just go through the same process one more time and uh, turn on USB debugging on your device and you're pretty much set. Now you should be able to use your device as a new branded, again, for me, I went from the US to the European. The main thing you'll notice obviously is the Amazon Assistant is no longer here. Uh, the launcher is different, but we also have Quick, which is, if I'm not mistaken, something that's specific to the European model. Uh, so main thing you wanna make sure is, so <laughs> again, this application was not part of the US branding. So again, if you wanna switch over between the US to the European, this is the process. Overall, the rebranding process is not that hard. The one thing you do need to be aware of obviously is once you rebrand it, you need to install the firmware on it and you need to do that at least twice so rebranding the device is not that complicated you just need to give it time and as you saw you just basically use the software select your device and then select the target uh, firmware or the branding that you want to go with let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you very much to funky Huawei for providing me that's the service and helping me out getting me set up for here for the mate night to be able to get you know show you guys how to rebrand this now in this situation again i showed you going from the us to europe but you could do that in the same reverse process um, and start off with a european version and brand it into the us if you want to get that Amazon Assistant. As far as I understand, that's only available in the US variant of this. So like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.